sure that I understood uh, the question very clearly, but let me try my best. I thought that what you sought to know is how the existing litigation between the Police Oversight Authority and the Police Service Commission and the State Law Office could potentially impact on the recruitment of police officers that His Excellency the President has directed should be done expeditiously. I want to refresh your memory that uh, this was a litigation between state agencies. Uh, the Police Service Commission is a state agent, the Police Oversight Authority is a state agent, and the State Law Office, needless to say, is a state agent. We were dissatisfied by the order of the court, which order directed that the entire process of recruitment should start afresh. We took the view that what the court ought to have done is to interfere only with those areas where there were complaints. And as the judgment will show, in the majority of cases, there was no complaint. And we went to the Court of Appeal. I filed an appeal myself asking the Court of Appeal to remove those orders that affected recruitment where there had been no complaint. That appeal has been hard. We are grateful that it was hard reasonably expeditiously and a judgment is pending. What is going on right now is that there is, there is commencing very shortly a three-way discussion between the Police Service Commission, the Inspector General of Police, IPOA itself, the Oversight Board, and the State Law the recruitment in a manner consistent with the wishes and the directive of His Excellency the President, and in a manner that is consistent with uh, the findings already made. So we are saying that nothing will be done which will not involve fairly extensive consultations and nothing will be done that will compromise the directive of His Excellency the President, which every rightful thinking Kenyan would concede is made because of what confronts our nation at this moment in time.